Hi there, folks. It's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic. In this video, I'm going to be comparing Teachable to Unimi. Which one should you choose and which platform is the right one for you in connected to your particular circumstance? What do you really need to know? Got some great insights. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. Coming back, folks, so you're looking at Teachable or Unimi, and you're trying to make out, make up your mind which one is the best for your project. So I think you've got to fundamentally understand the real differences between these two um, solutions. Now, let's, let's start with Teachable. Teachable is a SaaS-based platform so it's software as a service basically you've got to keep paying every month to utilize the platform and if you stop paying you can't use it anymore and they've got limited export functionality most SaaS platforms do not make it easy for you to export the data um because they'd be cutting their own throat basically so some offer some limited export functionality but most don't and basically you're going to have to market the course yourself um you're you're going to have to have an audience ready waiting for your type of course content or you're going to have to do a pre-launch and have the marketing chops to do that reasonably effective that there's loads of videos on the wp tonic youtube channel that goes in to how to do that and i run at one of the most popular podcasts the membership machine show that also gives you a load of free advice about how to do that and um, when it comes to usability it's quite easy to use it is limited it you really can't build a great looking website and the seo is going to be okay but it's not going to be fantastic either um of the SaaS platforms, it's one of the oldest ones out there. Um, it's in a competitive sector. So there's about half a dozen of these SaaS platforms that you could look at. There are better ones out there. And I go through those choices in some other videos, which you will find underneath this video. Um, so... If you're looking for, but it is pretty easy to use as long as you can work in the limitations of the platform. Now, Unimi is a totally different animal because Unimi is a marketplace. They, for a sizable cut, um, between 40 and 50% of the sell of the selling price of the course, they provide the platform, they provide the admin back end. They provide um, the eyeballs that can purchase your course. Um, you don't have any real ownership of the course. Um, you have to give um, joint ownership to Unimi if you publish on their platform. It, um, they offer all sorts of, um, they provide a, a plan of action about how you can upload and the size of the thumbnails and this, that, the other. And you've got no choice in it because you're um, some of the big, bigger players on the platform are given a little bit more latitude, but the majority, 90% of those that are producing courses and post Unimi, um, they don't have much say in um, how the platform works for them. They just have to take what they get. Why do people use it then? Um, because of the eyeballs. Because um, if you want to get a course in front of people and you, you've got some kind of niche and you've done some kind of market research and um, you're probably going to get some purchases. It's not um, guaranteed. Unimi aren't miracle makers. If your course, um, there is no real demand, um, 
but um, they have a screening process anyway. They don't want people to upload courses that don't stand any chance on their platform, to be honest with them. Um, I think um, utilising it as a marketing uh, method to get your name out and to get some initial traction for some low-end courses um, and utilise it as a learning mechanism and also as a marketing mechanism, I think it's fantastic. Well, funny enough, on the other end, those that are looking to sell to a very broad, um, non-niche-based target audience and they've built a reputation or, or the subject, they've just got a good reputation. Um, I've known people that have built um, a six to seven figure income just publishing their courses on Unimi, but they are like the one to two percent of the tens of thousands of um, publishers that publish on Unimi. So it has its strengths. The main weakness is um, if you just keep publishing to it, you have no real control. And the other factor is you have no access to the purchase list. You um, There are ways of getting around that um, by offering additional material. You can't um, actually have external links, but they know your name and you can talk about your website in the actual videos and say that you've got content on your website, um, free content. And when I go there to get that free content, you can ask them for their email address. That's totally legit. And um, Unami can't do much about that. But in general, you just don't have any access to the purchase list. And that is one of the main problems about utilizing this platform. You have, you're not building up your list. You're not building up your own brand. You're not building traffic to your website to some extent. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I've written a really extensive, much more detailed post, and you'll find the link in the video description. I'm sure you'll find it really useful. And like I say, I've published a load of videos about Teachable, Unimi, all the major platforms. You'll find that at the WP Tonic channel. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.